Okay, I'll sign a comment. Hello, everybody. I'm Sabine Bilal, the founder and director of Creative Kinder House. Uh, we've been working closely with a company called Evidence-Based Classroom Solutions in America to bring you a series of parent webinars. Uh, I have two of the members of the company with us, and they'll just introduce themselves, and we can get started. Hi, everybody. So we are with Evidence-Based Classroom Solutions. We're um, we're based here in the United States, but we have been traveling and we're doing a lot of parent webinars in a lot of different places. Um, so we provide direct services, um, consultation training, progress monitoring, monitoring, and we typically work within schools. But for today, we'd really like to start offering our parent webinars. And this is just going to give you guys a little taste of applied behavior analysis, which is what we do. We are BCBAs. Um, and our goal is just to provide you guys with, um, our goal is just to provide you with uh, the support that you need in the home that your kids are also getting at school so that there's more generalization. So I'm Katie Lyford. I'm a board certified behavior analyst. And with us, we have also Lauren. Yes, I'm Lauren Ross. I'm a board certified behavior analyst as well, and also a speech language pathologist. Yes, yeah, so we're lucky to have someone who has both. <laughs> She's both of them, which is huge. Um, so we're very excited to collaborate with Sabine and Creative Kinder House, and, um, and we'll get started. All right, so our team, so just like I said, we have BCBAs. So we're board certified behavior analysts. Um, we also have behavior specialists. Um, and those are people that are working toward becoming BCBAs. They're, they're they're in school, they're getting supervision, they're working directly with kids. Um, so we have all of those within our company. And then we also, we also have, have speech language pathologists, myself. And so working within the schools, targeting receptive language, so how someone is processing language and expressive language, how they are saying what they want into the world and um, saying comments. Um, and so we all work very closely together. On our staff, we consult with an occupational therapist who looks at sensory integration and developing fine motor skills for students. Yeah, and then we also have our psychologists and counselors. So we do have another part of our company that is EBCS counseling, and we also have a school psychologist on staff. And so we, we all collaborate together. We use a collaborative model. Um, so we really do um, touch base with each other whenever we have a child that needs all of these services. So it is a unique company in that we are in, um, we work as a team. Um, so when you have access to one of us, you kind of have access to all of us. So as we are presenting these um, webinars, these little bits of information that are hopefully um, providing support that you need as a parent, um, just know that we are also in communication with all these other related services and that if you have any um, questions or direct needs, we, we will consult with each other and give you the most um, efficient answer that we can. And we're giving you information in regards to each of these topics because we know that our kids need them all. So yeah. um, we're excited to have so many different people on our team and getting to collaborate with other um, organizations just like Creative Kinder House. And so our science, so what we do, what BCBAs do is we use applied behavior analysis. And the thing is, it is a science, which means it's evidence-based. We only use evidence-based practices, which means we're only gonna be using or suggesting or talking about practices that have been proven scientifically to work. There's research to show that this works. We're never gonna suggest anything that has not been researched and proven to work. Um, so there's no assumptions, there's no guessing. We really are giving you um, information that is valid. Um, so that's super important to us. Um, and it's proven to work across people, settings, ages, applied behavior analysis is universal. It can be used anywhere with anyone. Um, so we typically use them to target behaviors with kids with special needs. That's kind of our, what we do. We work mainly in schools. Um, but we also have a well, we also have staff that work in the homes um, as well. So uh, we would really like to uh, extend our knowledge to you guys so that you can use this in your home as well. Yeah. 
All right, and our target. So here we've got Lauren working with a student in the school. Um, so it's very exciting to see her in action. Um, <laughs> I know that a lot of us have been home a lot, right? The pandemic is going on, so we know that a lot's going on, but some of our kids are in schools and we do we have been able to get in there and work with them and communicate with parents and, and really work on those days where kids are home or, and stuff like that. So. Our goal is to provide these trainings to make them relevant to you guys. We want the best outcomes for you and your family. And I think the, the main idea for parent webinars is that if, if your children are getting ABA or if they're getting these services in the schools, if you're also um, aware, if you're also knowledgeable on using these practices at your home, just in little ways, and I think that we're gonna show you really simple little tricks um, and, and ways to work with your kids at home that are also being done in schools. And that way it's generalizing, meaning those skills that teachers are seeing progress in, we also wanna see in the home for you guys, right? We want them to be successful in school and at home. Then we wanna generalize into the world. So if you go to the grocery store, go to a restaurant, you know, things are good. Um, so that's the goal here because applied behavior analysis can work anywhere. All right, and our lineup. So this is what we're thinking of doing the next couple webinars on for you guys. We're gonna start with pre math principle, which is a fancy way of saying first then, and we'll get into it, we promise. Um, so these are gonna help your kids follow directions um, at home and outside in the community. And what are our other ones, Lauren? What do we got? So our other ones, school readiness. So preparing your child and you as we go from quarantine and working with COVID as we look to return to school, what things we can do to prepare our students and ourselves as we make this change, or if you've already made the change, helping you um, adjust. And then my favorite topic is a speech therapist, um, <laughs> looking at verbal behavior. So um, building functional communication across all learners. Um, some of our learners use AC devices, so augmented communication. Some use PECS and picture exchange communication system. Um, some use sign language and some use vocal communication. And so looking at all of those different modalities and finding what works best for your child and even combining different ones to have the most successful and effective communication, um, communicative <laughs> child that we would like. Yeah, exactly. And that verbal behavior piece, we'll probably split those up into different sections and kind of target different ones for you guys. We're not sure yet, but also um, before we get to our last slide, this, this has been a really fun intro and we're really excited to get this rolling with you guys. Um, if you have questions, we're going to send you, you're going to have our emails and our contact information that's on the next slide. Please um, send us any topics that you would really like to target or if there's a specific thing at home that your um, specific kind of activity at home that you're struggling with with your student, um, send us some ideas and we'll, we'll integrate them into the next webinar or um, we'll be sure to kind of target some of those concerns yes. um, in the following thing. So we really wanna tailor this to what you guys need. So any feedback that we get is really appreciated um, we have a bunch of webinar topics that we have ready to roll and we're excited to get started, um, but we can, we can tweak them to kind of fit your specific uh, needs um, depending on your kids. So. so here's our email addresses and our company website. So please feel free to reach out with questions or comments, hope, things you're hoping to see or things you'd like to work on. And please feel free to visit our, email, our website um, to check us out more as a company. Right. And so we're also on social media, of course. We're here on Facebook. We're on Instagram as well. Um, we're, we're in direct communication on social media with Creative Kinder House. So we're linked up. Um, like, like us all. <laughs> um, and again, reach out via Facebook, Instagram, email. You can reach out to us via our um, website as well, like Lauren said. So we are available and thank you for letting us introduce ourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.